John Cassoni back here to tell you about another really cool Earthworks project. This is David, and this is an Earthworks job site. At the Hyde Residence, we're doing everything. We're doing, we're doing the plants later on. We're doing a big paver project. We're doing a huge drainage project. We've had two crews out here for two days, slamming and jamming. We pulled out a bunch of sod where the patio is going, and we pulled out a big concrete pad. We've staged up all the concrete. We're saving these big granite blocks for a planter later, and we're putting in a massive drainage system. Being out here on the river, the water comes up periodically, so we can't use a regular crush creek under our uh, pavers. So we're excavating for the pavers and putting 87 granite stone in there, and that stone is gonna make sure the water comes and goes uh, without moving to, to base. We connect to the gutters, and we also connect, when we can't connect the gutters, we connect to these boxes to capture any ground flow and contour the ground accordingly, so long as there's nothing in the way. Um, we presume we can change the grade, capture that water one way or another. We put in a lot of drainage underground. That's the biggest part of it. That and the irrigation. Huge part of the job that when it's done, you can't even see and you can't tell that's work done. But at that house, we took all the downspouts, piped them together and got them all going out to that new bulkhead and out to the river. So our pavers have a set of challenges. One of them is sinking and leveling. So we used a different paver base than usual. And we've got a strong concrete edge on underneath both sides for a number of inches, four plus inches, just like the base. When you do a polymeric sand, it sort of goes in between the cracks, right? And stops any of the, in the ceilings case, um, stops anything from washing in between or washing out and causing your pavers to come unlevel. Or in the case of polymeric sand, it's actually in there grabbing in between the pavers and holding them together and keeping any weeds or debris out from going into the cracks or, or coming out. Speaking of water, we just uh, put the gutters in, drainage system straight out so that it doesn't have to sit on top of the pavers or run over it. The patio itself is pitched so that that wall doesn't capture water. Like can commonly happen and that would cause some sinking and leveling issues as well. So this is the type of stuff we're looking for and looking out for. They actually needed a new bulkhead. So what we did was come in and take an old concrete slab that was holding water and was just really ugly and busted it all up. Put in a brand new bulkhead with that concrete. So if you guys have some old concrete you're tearing up, think about that, that riprap you could use or maybe a neighbor would buy it from you. A really cool aspect of that paver design you'll see that goes down and meets a fire pit area and actually takes them over to the pool house too. So it was a really cool division of the backyard. We were able to get them from the back door to the dock without stepping on the grass, which is really important to him because his backyard was really wet. From that point, we were able to really create a cool garden space with some old granite slabs they had also. We made a really neat vegetable area and framed it with the granite slabs. He's a really cool gardener, a really big gardener. And they had a, a old fig tree and I added a couple citrus and made an edible area. So it's always cool to put all your edible stuff together in the garden because you're over there you're fertilizing those things the same. You're picking them at the same time. Come to Earthworks and find me, John Cachoni. I'll come to your house and I will be the one doing your design. So you'll get what you want. Come to the nursery and just get an experience here. And that's probably all you'll need to pull the trigger on a landscape design with Earthworks. All right guys, thank you.